Hello, I'm Matthew from Ludobox.fr and I'm going to give you an overview of Princess Jing. So Princess Jing is a bluffing game and a memory game uh, from two to two players because it's a two-player game and it's a game for players ages 8 plus and it plays for around 20-25 minutes. So in this game we embody a princess trapped inside a palace with a lot of screens but the opponent is also a princess and we want to uh, join our lover. So for example, on my side, I want to get to the opposing lover. So if I get there, I win because uh, I meet my lover and we flee the palace. But this is going to be done through a lot of actions and the other player is going to do the same. So on my turn, I'm going to do two things, one mandatory action and an optional action. So the mandatory action that I uh, have to do is swapping two uh, screens. So for example, I could swap those, I could also swap those, but I'm going to do that only once per turn. I can swap in any part of the palace, so I can probably think about slowing the other princess down if I think I know this is her, and then we're going to do that so I take an action, he takes an action, I take an action, and we're going to alternate like this. So the optional action that I can do on my turn after moving and swapping two screens um, is trying to pinpoint where the opposing princess is. So as you may notice, there are mirrors. And the guards with the mirrors, the magic mirrors, they are going to allow you to spot what is uh, on the other side. So for example, uh, if, uh, let's imagine, my princess is there in the middle of the board and the opposing player has placed a mirror just in front of her. That's bad for me because that player could tell me, hey, this is your princess, right? If he's right, my princess goes back to square one. I can put her uh, anywhere I want and then the other player gets two turns. If that player makes a mistake, well, I get two turns. So this is uh, basically how it works. Hopefully I have a maid, and the maid is going to be of a tremendous help. She's dressed exactly like the princess, except for the hairdress. And the hairdress is very important because um, when I look in the mirror, I can only see the skirt of the princess or the maid. And to get to see the hairdress, I have to lower myself and to get closer to the table. And this enables my opponent to see where I'm looking. So my opponent could probably guess where my mirror is from the way I look. And there is this um, gaze game in which I'm going to try to look at where my opponent is looking at. So this is... Uh, a guessing game and a bluffing game because, for example, I could uh, make my maid go forward and forward and forward, but I could also trick my, my opponent by moving an empty screen. This is a game in which uh, speed is not always in, uh, the essence. So you win immediately when you meet the, uh, the guard you're in love with. So there is an expert, uh, an expert game in which you have three guards, but the princess is only in love with one of them. So to know who you love, you have a card and you have animals. And the card tells you, um, depending on the combination of animals that your opponent has, for, so for example, if your opponent has the fox and the crane, it's going to be the, the big one, so it's going to be this one. And uh, the, you will have to discover what uh, what animals are behind the screens of your opponent. So you have one more mirror and you're going to try to uh, see what is behind. So in this case, if I have those two, it's the big one, so I have to discover which captain I'm in love with, then I should make my princess run, run with him. So this is the expert game, basically. So that's it for Princess Jing. So it's at the same time a bluffing game, a memory game, and also a racing game because you need to get there first. That's it for Princess Jing. Bye bye and see you on Ludovox.fr.